Hi, I'm John Storm. Today we're going to go and do the initial configuration of this beautiful Falcon F48 Pixel Controller board from pixelcontroller.com. That's David Pitts's uh, Falcon Christmas. But before we get started, please do me the huge favor of uh, subscribing to our channel, giving the video a like, and if you're feeling generous, give us a comment. All these things help the algorithm so that other people can find these videos. So thanks a lot. Good start. We are going to set up this Falcon F48 for the very first time. Virgin systems, never been powered up. But the first thing I need to do is hook up a power cord. So today, getting ready for my distributed Pixel Falcon network, I made a whole bunch of power cords. Seven of them. So... I like the big chunky ones. So at work, we had a bunch of these uh, power supplies where uh, they had actually been recalled for fire. And so they replaced a bunch of them. And before we threw them out, I harvested the cords because they're nice, big, chunky, thick gauge wire cords. And uh, perfect for this type of thing. So what I did is I stripped, you know, I cut off the ends, which at work I just did in the paper chopper. That was kind of brutal and ugly, but I uh, used the wire stripper to cut off the exterior casing and then stripped off the ends and then put these, uh, these spades on the ends. These spades fit very nicely into the power supply. So now we are simply just going to hook it up. And when you're doing the power supply, it's these last three. So there is ground, neutral, and line. Ground is green. Neutral is white and line is black. How do we know this? That's just the way it is. All right, and if you ever forget You look it up on Google, but when I get my power supplies Since I have trouble remembering I always uh, I always mark them with a sharpie that way. Uh, I never forget. So now we're just gonna simply connect them Ooh, Maybe I'll do a special feature video feature. We'll zoom in That way all the kids at home can see. Okay, so loosen them up. Okay. And we have green. And I didn't loosen it up enough. Okay. Green, then white, and then black. For the places where I have screw down terminals, I like to use spades because I feel like I can get a nice tight connection. Some people like to put the bare wire in there. Bare wire is always a good option because you always get a good connection and let's make sure that ground is tight too okay so now our power cord is attached we're getting ready to plug it in so here i have an ethernet cable actually it's a cat 5 cable that runs ethernet over it in this case, I have it plugged into an Ethernet switch, and my computer is also plugged into the same Ethernet switch. Optionally, I could run this directly to my computer, and it would still work. So I plug it into one of the two Ethernet ports. doesn't matter which one. I'm going to plug it into the first one. Ooh, I want to make sure it doesn't block the OLED display, because we're going to have things to do there. Okay, and then I take this, and I'm going to plug that into the power strip. Ah. Now, always got to be thinking about safety. When these things are powered up, these little terminals will zap you really good. So you don't want to touch those at all. All right, so let's get ready to turn this on. So let's... Zoom in on the OLED display and the Ethernet ports. 
because this is where all the action is going to be. Okay. All right. So we're going to turn it on. So three, two, one. Falcon Christmas. All right. Now, you'll notice that these boards boot really fast. I mean, it's it's up, right? I mean, it, it booted up that quick. Um, so what we're also looking for is up here, you can see the green and the yellow light. That shows that we have connectivity back to the Ethernet switch, which is really, really important. If we didn't have that, things wouldn't happen. We have this green light down here, which means we have power, right? Which is uh, obvious. And then we have the OLED display, which is the fancy name for little screen. All right, so we're gonna zoom in on the OLED display. And sorry, there is nothing I can do about the line that's going through it. That's just the frame rate of the camera versus the frame rate of the OLED display. And it looks like the camera figured it out. Cameras are smart. Okay. Now, let me find a very sophisticated device. In this case, it's a Sharpie pen, okay? And I use this because my fingers are too dang fat for the buttons, okay? So all I need to do for this part of the, uh, the configuration, and we're doing the initial configuration, meaning we want to do enough that I can reach this on the network, and then from there... Oh, honestly, X lights pretty much takes care of the rest. Okay, so I just need to get this set up so that I can uh, get to it. Um, so I'm going to give it a IP address. Now, that automatically gives the Wi-Fi an address. So the little let me just move it. See this little guy up here with the orange light? That's the Wi-Fi interface. But I can't change the Wi-Fi interface from this uh, OLED, you have to do that through the web. And my computer's on the 10 net. So what I'm gonna have to do, is I'm gonna put this on a different subnet. I'm gonna use 192.168 something something, and then I'll just put my computer on it temporarily. Then I'll change the Wi-Fi address. Then I'll change the, net, uh, the, uh, the ethernet address so that I can reach everything. But I'll do that from the computer. For this part, it's just about getting it up and running as easily as possible. All right, so this, these buttons are up, down, left, right, and select. Okay, and you can do everything. So you just start off by pushing the, the down button, and it says network. So I'm going to say select, and then at the top there it says DHCP. Well, I don't want to do DHCP, so I'm going to hit select. And then I'm going to push down to static. I'm going to set a static IP address. I hit select. And now I can go and set them. So it has set it up as 192.168.1.50. Now in the interest of doing as little work as possible, guess what? That's the IP address we're going to use. All right, so I just need to remember that that is the address. So I'm going to write that down real quick. Uh, 1.50. Okay. So we have that written down. Uh, the net mask is set to 255, 255.0, .255 which is a 24-bit subnet mask. That's fine. The gateway is set to that same subnet.1. Ooh, actually, no. It is set to 192.168.0.1, which is on a different subnet, right? Because if you look above it, the mask 255 means... The, those portions of the numbers, those decimals are, or what they call them, octets, are masked out. They're part of the network address. So we're actually on a different network than our gateway, but since I'm not connecting to the internet, it literally doesn't matter. Okay? And then DNS is set to universal DNS 8.8.8.8, .8 .8 which also doesn't matter because we don't have access to the internet just yet. One last thing I need to do here. Is since I changed it to static, I need to save the configuration by pressing left or right buttons, left, save and reboot settings. I go up and then I hit select Falcon Christmas. It reboots. 
Now I can go to the PC and set things up. Okay, so this is a simple diagram of my current network. So my PC has an IP address of 10.0.0.250. Okay, and it has a net mask of 255, 255, 255.0. So the 255s are a mask for the network portion. What that's basically saying is the first three numbers is my network address. The last number is the address of the device. Okay, now my Falcon is on 192.168.1.50. Also a 255, 255, 255.0. Uh, network, but the networks don't match. Therefore, they won't talk to each other even though they're plugged into the same switch. In order to fix this, I need to change the address of my PC temporarily so I can change the address of the Falcon. Then I get everybody where I want them. So what I need to do is open up control panel. Okay, so control panel. I go to network and internet. Then I go to network and sharing center. Then I go to change adapter settings and I click on ethernet, not Wi-Fi. I right click on ethernet, select properties. Then from here, I go to internet protocol version four, TCP IP. Okay, changing the IP address to 192.168.1.250. Subnet mask 255.255. I changed the default gateway to be 192.168.1.1. Even though I'm not accessing the internet, I do this just to keep the computer from complaining at me. Click OK again, close. Now I go to my web browser and I go 192.168.1.50. And there it is. Took a little while. Okay, so now we are at 192.168.1.50. But I wanna get everybody back on the 10 net. So I'm gonna go into here and I'm gonna update these network settings. Now these network settings, once you change them, then they're changed, right? So I'll be on a different, I'll set it up different. So right now, if I go back to my little network setup, I changed my PC to be 192.168.1.250, right? So that's why I can talk to the Falcon now. But now we're gonna switch the Falcon to the 10 net, 10.0.0.50. And once I save that, we won't be able to talk to it anymore. So we go back here and we change this to be 10.0.0.50. All right, change the gateway to be 10.0.0.1. Keep the mass the same, keep everything else the same. And shoot, let's put it on the wireless network while we're here. Okay, and then we hit save. As soon as I hit save, it does its thing, but now it won't be able to see it anymore, All right? So if I try to pull up the page, it's going to time out, right? Why? Because we changed it, because now we're in this situation. So now, in order to make this work, I need to go back to my control panel again. I go back to Ethernet, Properties, IPv4, Properties, and I switch this back, 10.0.0. Change the gateway, 10.0.0. Click OK, close, close. And what I've done is now I have put my PC back on the tent net. Okay, so now we should be able to talk again. Go back to the web browser and do 10.0.0.50. And voila, here it is back where I wanted it. So now that I have it set up for the IP address I want, I'm done, right? Um, 
Yeah, there are all kinds of things to configure here, but guess what? X lights will do everything. So in X lights, you set up what controller you have, and then you can visualize, you can actually drag the models onto the ports that you're going to hook them up to and the order that you're going to hook them up to. And you got it the way you want to it. You say upload to controller. That's it. It sets up the controller for you. So this concludes the initial setup of the Falcon F48 pixel controller.